In this project, we will numerically validate the data obtained by the paper named Study on Heat Transfer and Friction Factor Characteristics of a Gamma AL2O3 Water Through a Circular Tube with Twisted Tape Inserts with Different Thicknesses. In this slide, you can see that we have extracted the figure 3 of the paper, which shows the schematic view of the tube with different thicknesses. As you can see, in this slide, we have extracted the figure 10 of the paper, which shows a comparison of Nusselt number over different Reynolds number. Now, in this project, we will validate the data of the Nusselt number for Reynolds number equal to 500. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Master CFD logo and subscribe. The geometry of this project is designed in ANSYS Design Modeler software. The geometry is meshed using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type used for this geometry is structured and element number is equal to 2,146,882. Uh, also, by clicking on report quality, again in the console tab, the Fluent software will, uh, will give you the quality report for your mesh. For example, you can see the maximum aspect ratio of your mesh, uh, maximum orthogonal quality, and etc. There are several assumptions taken into account in this project. The first one is that the type of our solver is selected to be pressure based since we are dealing with incompressible flows. As for the velocity formulation, we have selected absolute formulation. And as for the time study, we have selected a steady time study since we didn't want our results to be a function of time. Also, we have enabled gravity and uh, the value of gravity is equal to minus 9.81 in y direction. In order to add a new material, just have to right click on fluid and then select new. And if you click on the outer roll boundary under the thermal tab, you can see that the thermal condition of heat flux have been defined and the heat flux value applied uh, on this boundary is equal to 5000, just like the paper stated. After double clicking on the method, you will see that a new window will appear showing you the pressure velocity coupling. Also, you, will, you can see that uh, the spatial discretization methods are shown in this window. Also, you can change the discretization into other formats, like you can change them into first order oven and the other options available for each variable under their combo list. And for the simple pressure velocity coupling, uh, the simple algorithm is kind of an iterative solver, which uses a relationship between velocity and pressure correction to enforce mass conservation and to obtain the pressure field. After double clicking on the initialization button, a new window will appear showing you different methods of initialization, hybrid and standard. Now in the standard initialization method, you get to choose the first amounts and values for the first iteration of the simulation progress. These values refer to the values used in the first iteration of the simulation progress and if you choose the values for each parameter wisely, your simulation progress will finish sooner. It should be mentioned that you can also choose the first values and in, or the initial values by just clicking on the compute from drop down list and clicking on one boundary. For example, by clicking on compute from all zones, the software will automatically average the values in different zones and boundaries and put those values in the initial values for the software. In this slide, you can see how the temperature of the outer wall of the geometry has increased since we had applied uh, a heat flux rate of uh, 5000 watt per meter squared. In this slide, you can see the temperature distribution uh, on the inlet boundaries and how the uh, entering fluid flow has low temperature equal to 300 Kelvin. And in this slide, you can see the velocity distribution on the outlet boundaries, and you can see how the velocity has changed after passing through those twisted tapes. As was mentioned in previous slides about validating the Nusselt number data for different Reynolds number, you can see that for a Reynolds number almost equal to 500, we have validated the Nusselt number, and you can see the value of error. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product.
to benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.